Welcome to Eagle Eye Military. First female fighter pilot of the United States Air Force takes her final flight here at the 4th Fighter Wing. Colonel Jeannie M. Levitt, the current commander of the 4th, prepares for her change of command by upholding the Air Force tradition of the Finney flight. This proud heritage is a time of celebration for the pilot, the crew, their friends, and family. It was cool to see everybody out here. It's fun to hose her down. I like to do it. With more than 3,600 flying hours, in the F-15E Strike Eagle aircraft, Colonel Levitt shares her feelings about taking this final flight. It's a bittersweet event. I love flying this airplane. I've been flying it since 1993. It is an awesome sortie, but it's sad knowing it's my final flight as the 4th Fighter Wing Commander. This marks yet another historic moment here at the 4th Fighter Wing. Senior Airman Emma Duff, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, North Carolina. Fighter squadron or pantons, these pilots are no different. As long as it's not as cold. because. It... One airman, from the time she was a small girl, wanted to serve her country and fly. I grew up the blood to fly, um, just because people in my family, uh, close friends and everything, did a lot of flying, so I had a lot of exposure to it. So that was initially why I wanted to fly. Getting to fly F-16s is very competitive, and she knows she did not get here alone. There's a larger community of female fighter pilots nowadays and it's awesome it's a community within itself basically and um, it's uh, it's awesome because you have somebody that set the precedent and someone that I can follow in their footsteps and ask questions and, and learn from them uh, so I feel very fortunate that there have been several before me and even though they were shut down at different avenues of joining the services so it was just awesome to see that they really ended up intertwining women in aviation, and especially military aviation, with the WASPs and the WAFs and the other female service pilots, which is just an incredible part of our history. Carrying on the Panton's Push It Up motto, Lieutenant Kotnick continues the rich tradition of women aviators as she defends the base. Sergeant Lauren Massey, Kunsan Air Base, Korea. Since 1947, American airmen have been breaking barriers in airspace and cyberspace, resulting in a force that provides unparalleled global vigilance, reach, and power. Airmen throughout the Air Force and Air Combat Command are fully engaged as a part of the American force.